Welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. You might have seen my other video where I pointed out the three top reasons I think that makes GoodNotes better than any other note-taking app like NoteShelf or Notability. In this video we will point out the three reasons why I don't think GoodNotes is better than NoteShelf or Notability and the features they actually offer and GoodNotes doesn't have included yet or should improve. So what those are, let's find out right now. Okay, the first thing many complain actually about is there is no audio recording. Notability has audio recording functionality, which is really nice. You can record while you're handwriting and you can play it back sync to your handwriting. So this means you see while you're listening to your audio, what you have written in just this moment. Noteshelf also has audio recording. And in addition, you can also use your Apple Watch to record audio. So this makes it really special for Noteshelf because so far it's the only handwriting note-taking app that supports Apple Watch input. And GoodNotes has no audio recording yet. It might be no problem for many people out there, but if you need to record audio during meetings or sessions or lessons, first, make sure that everybody knows that you're recording the audio, very important. And second, GoodNotes is not for you. I don't know if they want to implement it. They are looking into this. They made surveys about this, but it seems not enough people need this feature. So that's the reason why they left it out. Second reason why I think NoteShelf is actually the best note-taking app in this case is if you import a digital journal. If you own the digital journal that I'm selling here, which is this one, you have a lot of hyperlinks in there that makes it easy for navigation. So you gently can just tap on these buttons. But you see, I'm tapping, it's not working. Even when I'm using my Apple Pencil and I tap on this, it's not working. So once I tap, you see it even writes on these buttons, nothing happens. And many of you reached out to me asking, oh, your digital journal is not working in there. Well, that's if you're using it in GoodNotes, because in GoodNotes, you have to go to the top right, press this button and you go into the tapping mode. Then you can use your Apple Pencil to navigate or your thumb or, or your finger to navigate. And there it works. So you can just jump to the yearly overview and then to the day view, to the monthly view and so on. Everything that is offered in this journal. If you want to find out more, I will put the link of the journal into the description below. Make sure you check it out. And members of the Paperless Movement Inner Circle will get a 50% off of this digital journal. But now let's get back. That's really a downside because if you go in comparison to NodeShelf, so that's a NodeShelf now, we can always use our Apple Pencil to tap on these buttons and to jump to the different pages without any problem and we can just start writing so we don't have to switch any tools. And this is actually something for me personally really annoying if I have to switch tools just to navigate through my uh, note-taking app or through my, through my digital journal. Notability is no option either because here if you tap on something it's not working. So you can use your Apple Pencil tap on it. So it's not working with the finger, only with the Apple Pencil. And then you get a preview. So this means I have to click twice. It's still better than using GoodNotes. It's still faster. You're getting a preview and you have to tap twice. In my opinion, NoteShelf is much more convenient using a digital journal in there. And reason number three why I think GoodNotes should do a better job there to compete with apps like NodeShelf, especially in this case, is bookmarks and tagging. Um, maybe some of you will say, oh, well, I have bookmarks in here, so you can bookmark your pages there. But all this does is it will become available in your favorites bar. So you have bookmarked pages in your favorites section. If we compare this to NodeShelf, however, it is much more complex. And I'm showing this in detail in my online course, how to use NodeShelf like a pro, where we will talk about how to use the tagging feature because you can bookmark this page. And you see already that you, that you can use different colors. You can name this bookmark and save it and it will become available on your sidebar here. So you can filter it here by bookmarked and you can tag these pages. So the difference is that you can use 
one tag on several pages so you will get all these pages back that you tagged with it and if you bookmark it it will only be once so you will bookmark each page on its own so that's really a big difference compared to GoodNotes and that's reason number three if you're interested in this online course how to use Notchaf like a pro it is for free for the Pendulous Movement Inner Circle members just go over and check it out if you need any help with Notchaf so those are my three reasons why I think Notchaf is doing a better job of course there are advantages of GoodNotes I made another video about this as I said in the beginning just go over and check it out um, what are my three reasons why GoodNotes is better than Notchaf for Notability if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I will catch you up next time or in the inner circle